Um, now we're going to move into a time of having a student come up and share a testimony. May I welcome Melissa. Well, Melissa is going to share her story about how she came to faith in Christ. What is your spiritual background? What was life like growing up? <laughs> so growing up, I grew up in a Christian household. My parents are both strong Christians. They took us to church each Sunday. Um, went to a Christian school. My lesson teachers are both Christian. Went to Rwanda's, all that stuff. And so I had a lot of head knowledge about God, but that didn't mean I had a relationship with Him. And I was definitely a the model church kid. Um, I knew all the right science school answers. But, and so, everyone around me thought I was saved. Um, they were, they would be surprised, like, because I hadn't got to baptize at that point, so I told someone, like, I wasn't baptized. I'm like, really? You weren't baptized? Like, no, I'm not even saved. <laughs> um, and so, I, um, I remember I was, like, pushing it off, because I knew it was something I, I needed to do, because I felt convicted each time I heard the gospel preached. Um, but I was just being fake with people around me. Wow. So how did you meet Christ? What was that like? How were you saved? So I was at a youth event at my church. I was 13 years old. And I remember that time was different. Um, I could feel the Holy Spirit, like, convicting me the entire message. And finally, during the invitation, um, I finally, like, walked down the aisle and talked to someone about accepting Jesus. And I, I just like, I, the Holy Spirit was really dragging me down there. <laughs> I remember um, I, she shared the gospel with me and I um, prayed to receive Christ that night. Praise Jesus. Um, so how have you grown in your faith since, since that night? For sure. Um, even though I became saved, I still had to learn how to surrender my life because I was still holding on to my old habits. I was thinking, I can fix this area of my life. I, I'll do this better, or I'll stop doing this. But God had to teach me, like, I can't fix my broken life. A broken life can't fix brokenness. Only God can. And so I had to learn how to surrender, how to um, desire the thing God Desire the things God want me to desire. Um, but even in high school, I wasn't being challenged because I was surrounded by so many Christians. Um, and I kind of became neutral or content with where I was on my faith. Um, I wasn't like actively rebelling against God, but I wasn't growing in my relationship with him. So last question. What is a word of encouragement you'd like to share with everyone here? And so, um, something I want to share with you is that um, what really got me challenged was asking hard questions. Um, and when I came to, col came to college and got involved with the BSN, the first time I was invited by a friend, but the second time the friend wasn't going to be there. And so I had to ask, am I going for a friend or am I going to, become, to get challenged in my faith? And so, um, thankfully, I, I chose the latter, and I came again. Um, and so, it really challenged me in my faith was um, sharing the gospel with people. Because um, when, when you share the gospel, you realize that you can't save that person, only God can. And so, it drives you to prayer. It drives you to his word. And so, that's what really excelled in my faith in the past year and a half. And so, I would encourage you to do the same. It can come in multiple ways. It can be a one-on-one, -on -one, like, set-aside time to go through a gospel book. It can be a friend or stranger. It could also just be, like, mentioning, hey, I'm going to church tomorrow, or I'm going to Bible study tonight. You want to join me? Kind of mentioning little, like, church bombs on people <laughs> um, and having spiritual conversations with them. It could also just be being an encouragement and a light to them of God's love. Um, you can be intentional with it, like write them a letter, or send them a text, call them, see how they are um, doing, and be kind to them 
And so I would encourage you to do that, to be bold in your faith and share the gospel with people around you. Good word. Can we say thanks to Melissa? I love it. Yeah. There are a lot of things that can stretch and grow us in our faith, but it's very difficult for you to not grow in your faith if you're sharing the gospel. Sharing the gospel drives you to the word, to prayer, to God. So share your faith. Good word. Thank you, Melissa. All right.